Wouldn't you love it if there was a simple hack that would help you grow your e-commerce sales today? Hey everyone, I'm Neil Patel and today I'm gonna to break down one e-commerce hack that will increase your sales. No matter how good your product is or how great your marketing is, if shoppers can't afford your product, sales are gonna tank. Today, I'm gonna to share with you an e-commerce hack that has the potential to unlock increased sales. It doesn't require any technical knowledge and not only can it attract more customers, but it can also help you retain them as clients for a much longer period. Now, before we dive in, today's video is sponsored by PayPal. According to Grandview Research, the value of the global e-commerce market size exceeded $10 trillion in USD in 2020 and is forecasted to become 27.15 trillion USD by 2027. So if you have an e-commerce shop and your business hasn't been growing more aggressively in the last two years, you need to level up your game and I'm gonna help you do that. Beyond just acquiring more traffic or getting in front of more potential buyers, one thing that you can do is work on improving your conversion rates. When you have an e-commerce shop, there are only so many levers that you can pull in order to increase your conversions. The things that you can typically do are improve your conversions by doing CRO, recovering abandoned cards by having great email marketing strategy, offering limited time discounts, offering free shipping, having competitive pricing, or even using live chat, or doing things like improving your checkout flow process, or attracting great product reviews, and even optimizing for mobile experience. While these things are great and they do make a big difference, if your ideal buyers can't afford your product, you're going to struggle to just get a handful of conversions. Just so you have an idea, according to a study by Oberlo, on average, only 1.94% of e-commerce website visits convert into a purchase. And 69.57% of shopping carts are abandoned. That's a lot of people abandoning those carts. Today, I want to show you a payment method that you can offer to buyers pay in for with PayPal. Pay in for allows your customers to split large purchases into four payments, interest free and with no late fees. It's a great way for your customers to increase financial flexibility and access credit without paying interest, late fees or applying for a credit card. One of the biggest advantage of pay in for is that you'll be paid upfront while your customers can pay later. Offering this payment method won't have any additional cost to you if you're already using PayPal, so you're not really taking any additional risk. The industry is growing fast, with 37.7% of US consumers choosing the option as of July 2020. Here are some tips for you when implementing pay in for in your e-commerce store. Pay in for is super easy to integrate and to activate. If you're already using PayPal for your business, you already have access to pay in for, and there's no extra steps for merchants to integrate. Make sure that customers can see this payment method is available so that way they know. Add the logo or approved messaging next to your add to cart button. Display this payment option on the product page. Include pay in for approved messaging on your checkout. Encourage your customers to complete purchases by testing different placements of this messaging. Try out exit intent pop-ups that are triggered when customers are leaving the checkout, telling them about this payment option. Keep an eye out on the same strategic metrics that will tell you how well pay in for is working for you. And that's your overall conversion rates, your total sales, your cart abandonment rates, your average order value, your customer lifetime value, if you're worried about technical implementation of pay in for messaging on your website, you can add the dynamic pay later messaging to your site with a single integration offered by PayPal. This dynamic messaging will display more relevant pay later offer to your customers. These metrics should be affected when you compare customers who use pay in for against people who bought using other payment methods. A recent survey by C plus R research revealed that 51% of consumers say that they use buy now, pay later services during the pandemic in the United States. This is especially relevant if you're targeting millennials and generation Z customers. According to online study commissioned by PayPal, 28% of consumers ages 18 to 39 are more likely to shop at a merchant again 
if they offer buy now, pay later option. If you're not offering pay in four, you're missing out on a huge opportunity. Brands like Walmart, Sunglasses Hut, um, Anthropology, Abercrombie, Urban Outfitters, Peloton, Casper, and even Warby Parker are using buy now, pay later options. Research conducted by Forrester and commissioned by PayPal in November 2020 shows that among B2C merchants they interviewed, 21% of their organization's online sales come from a buy now, pay later solution. Now, if you have any questions about paying for, leave a comment below and I'll make sure to answer it and help you out. Thanks for watching this video. Try it out. Your conversion should go up.